and welcome back to the show, the platform that people are just having too much uh, fun tonight. They've got great jobs. Darren Sutton's on the couch. Um, uh, he's the man behind Aussie Heat, a, uh, a male rear view. I don't quite know what it's about, but I know the ladies love him and the boys. Let's have a quick look at the great man and his team. Do you recall the long ago? I'm a criminal defence lawyer, but I want your job. What is going on in that? You're, you're travelling the world, you're surrounded by women. Where, how did this start, Aussie Heat? Well, what happened was we ran a show called Hunk Mania Australia in <clears throat> Melbourne, and we did, we had a residency. And then, so what we thought in 2015, we'd done Australia, we'd conquered that, we had made it as far as we thought we could go in this country. Not that it's a small country, but it's big enough. We thought, well, where's the next place to go? And then someone said, well, the best place in the world is Las Vegas for performance, for entertainment, for anything adult, anything you want. Kids, adult, doesn't really matter. So we uh, pushed so hard to get in there. Like, it took us about eight months. We got knockback after knockback and rejection. And all of a sudden, we got an email back saying, yeah, we'll accept you into a theatre in downtown Las Vegas. And downtown Las Vegas isn't the strip Las Vegas. It's downtown, but all the downtown people say, oh, this is up and coming and whatever, blah, blah. But we thought, all right, we're in the door. We've got our foot in the door. Now's the time where we can show them how good we are, then hopefully get onto the strip, because if you're not in the game, you're out of the game. So we go up to Vegas. We had no idea. I visited all my dance teachers straight away, because I couldn't, didn't have time to train monkeys to be performers. And if we train monkeys who are big, juiced-up meatheads, to go to Vegas, they'd think, oh, you're just Chippendales, you're just someone, not Chippendales are juiced up monkeys, but you're just like, you're just like the rest of them. Why are you different? So I got the dance teachers who were break dancers, hip hop dancers, poppers, lockers. We got the best in Australia, put them all together and put the show together in a couple of weeks, got to Vegas and said, here we are. But little did we know that all you're doing is leasing the right to perform at a theatre. So you've got to pay rental costs, you've got to pay marketing, uh, promotions, everything has to be paid for, uh, visas, accommodation. All you're doing is renting a theatre. And then the reviews were amazing after a few weeks, but we, couldn't, we got there. We, didn't even, we couldn't even afford a can of petrol to get to Darren, Seaford and back. congratulations. You've turned into this love god with all these women chasing you, getting yeah. paid for it. Um, where's the application form, bro? Well, I just saw the whiz out in the green room. He wants to join. Yeah, and I said, I, I said I've got to look at my checkbook and look at my <laughs> credit card limit to get the old fella back Darren, on. Darren, so in a nutshell, how long has Aussie Heat been performing for? Are you, um, have you got a truckload of money and um, um, is it still going strong? Well, we've been going since 2015. We've had our setbacks, we've had our challenges, but now we're just really flying. We went dark over Christmas, as you do, because it's winter there and we start up again early Feb. And from where we've started to where I've come to, you just have to blink to think, is this real? Is this reality? Like, but I guess it's not reality. Well, we're doing a show in Las Vegas in, uh, in, in a, about six months' time. Maybe we can get all the boys on there and uh, doing a bit of a dance. And so you started off as a dancer? No, well, I started off as an accountant. And accountant? Yeah, I started, I went to my old man's office. Uh, um, he gave me some big file box and I said, all right, no worries, Dad, looks perfect to me. Picked up the first bit of paper, it was about 10 o'clock, I said, I'm going for an early lunch. I said, to the, I said to the secretary, and I just got in the tram, number eight, and went home and never went back. 
He came home at the end of the day. He goes, "Where were you?" I said, "Oh, didn't the file get done itself?" So, Darren, you're you're sort of running the team now. You you danced for how many uh, years on the uh, with Aussie Heat? Well, I danced. I got it started with the boys in 2015 when we got there. Then I sort of retired. I guess retired. To, I hate that word because when I die, I retire. But you know, like as long as I can stand up, I can dance, I can perform. But I stopped performing about eight nine months ago because if you want to run it and manage it successfully. You can't mm. do both. Like, you want the respect to go into a casino in Canada or in an Indian reservation casino in America and say, do you want, you know, let's sign a contract with these boys. Then you go up on stage and start swinging your hips or whatever else you want to swing. And they're thinking, well, I've just signed a contract with this guy and he's out there. The, the two doesn't combine. You're either You're a, a good smart man and a great account. entrepreneur. And I think your accounting <laughs> background's really going to, um, must help a lot. But I think we've got a clip. We'll just have a look at yeah. uh, what's been happening with a great man, Darren Sutton. Darren, you're just having too much fun, bro. What's it like when um, you're performing and, you know, and, and all these people are there and they, they see you the next day down the street? Do, do all the girls want uh, your phone number? Oh, if only. No, no, because, you know, I'd love to see them down the street, but after the show we meet the girls in a bar, like, across the road from the stage and we get to know them. We, they, you know, we have pictures and what have you, but, yeah, in the street the next day I'm pretty unrecognisable anyway, so, yeah. But how did you learn the skill of dancing so well, Darren? Well, that choreographer who actually came up yeah. in 2015, Dice Gay, I do his classes like two or three times a week and I, mm -hmm. it's like my favourite hobby in the whole time world. Like, it just, it's like a holiday within a holiday. Your mind is just on that, like whatever's around you doesn't seem to matter. It's like so therapeutic and it's just like meditating, I guess. You know, it's, it's like almost famous. You know, you see these rock stars and they're fighting and arguing and, you know, have there been a few, bit of friction amongst the group? Yeah, there's always friction with everything, yeah, no matter Any what. Any punch-ups? Oh, no, it doesn't go that far because, you know, you live together, you ch perform together, you train a lot together. I'm proud of you, Darren, because this is, this is big, big stuff, you know. This is big time. I mean, even for some people just to get a gig at the local pub is difficult these days, you know, but you guys to, to you know, to, for you to form Aussie Heat, take yeah. it overseas and get it to Las Vegas is really you've exceptional. Got to, you've got to understand, MK, apparently 95% of the shows that start in Vegas close within four weeks. Yeah. So to get past that 5%, then the next year it's like another 90, like to just keep on, they open and close every day different shows. And how long has it been going for? We've been there since t July 2015, so the thing wow. is we're not just up against other male review shows. We're up against Cirque du Soleil, we're up against the pool parties because it's the entertainment dollar yeah. you're competing for and it's, so com it's the most competitive place on earth. And to stay afloat, to stay alive and to be alive and kicking, yeah, it's a credit to, um, it's well, a credit credit to the boys. To no, no, it's not to me. It's, to, it's, You're it's very not humble. me. It's a whole team. You're and, very humble. And there's more to the team than the team. Like, there's behind the scenes. There's the guys on stages. It's a whole crew that makes it work, which is... Darren, thank, thank you so up. much for coming on. I'm sort of understanding it, but uh, for the viewers and for all your female fans and male fans watching, what's the website? Oh, it's, um, we've got the American website. is AussieHeatLV.com. The Australian one is aussieheat.com.au. Amazing. And, yeah. Congratulations. Thanks <laughs> thank for coming so on the platform. And uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back very shortly with Australia's social queen, Rosie Faraci. Don't go away.